Hey guys, Jack here. Just broke the box of uh, Pinion Revolution basketball. Did pretty well, I'll show you what I got. So if you didn't watch that video, go watch it now. Click off this one. We got this, the best cards. We got this Durant, uh, Chinese New Year. Kyrie, Chinese New Year. Troy Brown Jr., rookie Chinese New Year. Uh, Bruce Brown, rookie Chinese New Year. Jalen Brunson, rookie Chinese New Year. Bowman, rookie Chinese New Year. A Mobamba rookie. A Bagley rookie for the PC and a nice emerald Chinese New Year. Clay Thompson numbered 78 out of 88. So that's pretty cool. Uh, now I'm going to open up these 24 packs of Canadian Prison Football. Canadian Prison Football. And I should probably do this quick because I got homework to do tonight, honestly. But I'd rather break some, break some stuff. Let's go. Let's break. So we're looking for Andrew Luck, Russell Wilson. Um, and those are like two great names. Two of the probably top five quarterbacks in the, in the league, in my opinion. But it's not a very deep class after that. A lot of people thought it was going to be when it came out, but it's not really. I mean, you have RG3, who fizzled out. Tannehill kind of fizzled out. Um, Brock Osborne definitely fizzled out. Uh, there's still some, some good players. The Colts had a really good draft. Um, Marsh, it's a design. Like a recap step. Well, it makes, um, I don't know. Uh, I should show you. Shane McClellan, rookie. He's actually he actually had a couple good years in Patriots, I remember. He's like a kind of like a depth guy. Kevin Zeitler. Here, you know what? Kevin Zeitler is a solid player. And I'll I'll like a uh, sleeve one card in each stack just to put them on top of no one in this stack deserves to sleeve yet. Kevin Zeitler is a good offensive lineman. There's a uh, T.Y. Hilton. And I think I said Lamar Miller, solid player. Let me show you what we're looking for. There's the 300 core base set, 20, 200 commons, and 10 rookies. And you have all the things of hobby. Unlike, like, Prism, like, products nowadays. Rather, the Reef is not actually not bad. Not bad offensive lineman. Like, unlike Prism nowadays, where you can only get, like, unnumbered stuff typically in uh, retail. And back here, back in this day, you can get everything in retail. Trent Richardson, he's in the AAF actually now. And he actually was pretty, pretty okay. He was not great, but he was solid. His first game in the AAF. And there are photo rares. I don't know how to tell them. But Alfred Morris, rookie impact. Um, I'll put this in the recap stack. Just an insert. Of that. I'll just put inserts in the recap stack. So we're looking for anything numbered. Anything prism, basically. Any color, hopefully. Hopefully, at least I'll luck and both some base rookies. Maybe I can slab them. Uh... Well, the green rookies, I think, are retail exclusive, which I assume they were because they weren't numbered and stuff. Tremaine Johnson, he's a solid player. Um, those are probably in here. Those, the Lux House player, 85. I didn't look at the book one, but that wouldn't, be, that wouldn't be a bad one. Uh, oh, that's sweet. Greg the Leg Zerline. That might even be a slap can, honestly. Slap can, obviously. Pre price, probably another term from Elite Co 3. I love his videos. Like a card that you consider in grading. Slap can. Greg the leg for the probably the best kicker in the league right now. Joe Adams, Champ Bailey, Ryan Matthews there for my PC. Uh yeah, for the Rams is a great kicker. Uh, Tyrone Crawford, he's a really good player, actually. Put that in the recap. Peyton Hill as well. Was this the year? No, this was two years removed from his breakout season. Clark Johnson. Oh, Tannehill rookie. I'll put that in the recap. Tannehill has had a solid career. I mean, I don't know. I like him. But he's not really that good. Michael Brockers rookie right there. Rookie right there. Oh, my God. Here. Uh, Nick Foles rookie. There we go. I forgot about Foles. That's a pretty cool one. Foles is probably, I don't know, probably, he probably is the third best hobby in in, the, in all the, the class, you know. He'll probably find a starting job somewhere, I, I think. I'm not entirely sure. But if we don't get anything, I can see why these packs are so cheap. Oh, Brent Melvin Ingram for the PC. There we go. Sweet. I can see why these packs are so cheap. They're kind of rough. 
Kind of rough. No color yet. Come on, please hit something. Hit some color. Melvin Ingram again for the PC. There we go. So one of those I'll probably sell. Like, probably put in my put out the joke for a quarter. I don't really like how these packs feel. They kind of feel like weird. Oh, there we go. Keekly. I forgot about I forgot about a lot of players in this class, it seems like. Keekly is probably one of the best linebackers in the league. Not probably, definitely. Has been for a while, probably since his rookie year. And he's in a Hall of Fame track right now. So that's not a bad card to get him. Probably will be one of his more desirable cards. And like Greg the Leg, zero line. So we've had a couple of slab cans so far. The Foles, maybe. The Greg the Legs, maybe. That Keekly, I would say, is. So. Uh, Chris Rainey, he was okay for a couple years. We've got a rookie impactor here, Levante David. That's not bad. He was He's a solid linebacker. Still really good. Probably a little bit past his prime. Probably, probably like his third, fourth year in the league. But he's still solid. Uh, Ryan Broyles. Okay. We have one. Five packs left, including this one. Damaris Thomas. He actually just got cut today by the uh, Texans. Tebow and the Jets. That's pretty cool. AJ Jenkins, rookie. Okay, these packs are super rough. These are kind of shit. Excuse my language, but come on, these are these are really bad. Eli, not bad. Oh, Harrison Smith, he's a really good safety. One of the best in the league, so that's pretty good. Pretty cool. Hit one of those. I'm just looking for anything that says Prism, Palmer. Ronnie Hillman had a... No, he, he was actually... He was never good. I was going to say a couple of years. He was kind of like hyped up. And then I drafted that Monty Ball the next year. He was a... Uh, oh, voice crack. And he played for a little bit for a couple of years, but... I've never mounted too much. Bengals. Who can this be? Mohamed Sanu. Oh, he had a green. Sweet. And a Mohamed Sanu rookie. Okay, I'm going to save this green. Those are SSP, SSP apparently, so... Hopefully it can be maybe a rookie, maybe at least a good player. And base, base. I'm sure they're kind of crap. Okay, and then we might have a photo variation rookie, so I'll look through that again. Have James Harrison and. Oh, Clay Matthews. Sweet. I'll take that. Okay. Oh, I'll put the sleeve on back. A lot of my sleeves have like writing on them, like a marker on the top, so. Try getting that, uh, that onto the back of the card. So here's like the. Better cards. The break, break was kind of rough, but so here are the some some better rookies, not the top, but yeah, about one rookie, one rookie pack. Inserts kind of rare, but you got one green. So you got most new, uh, Harrison Smith, rookie impact, Alante David, Greg the Leg, Ingram, Ingram, Michael Brockers, Tannehill, Tyron Crawford, Greg the Leg again, Jermaine Johnson, rookie right, rookie impact. Morris, Kevin Zeitler. Um, probably the three top cards we got with a Nick Foles rookie. I don't know if there's a way to tell if there's a variation or not. Um, a Nick Foles and Keekly. And then we got the Clay Matthews Green Prism. Is there a way to tell if it's a variation? They all look the same to me. So I'll keep looking. Um... Let me see if there's like any difference between these two or these two. No, I don't know. But that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I am out.